What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another NBA news video to be going over with you guys. This time it is currently now being reported that following the mega James Harden trade that we of course just saw, you know, the Brooklyn Nets, Cavs, Pacers and Rockets, big four team trade just go down, you know, just after that all happened. It is now currently being reported that many NBA executives across the league are actually speculating that PJ Tucker could potentially be traded and is now highly rumored and speculated that the Miami Heat are going to be the top team that will try and trade for him and, uh, you know, potentially try and secure him the most interested in him. There's also been some people saying the Boston Celtics are interested in him, but I'm not really going to make a video on that because, um, I haven't necessarily seen, you know, as many sources, you know, that are confirmed sources or anything say it. And some of the sources seem pretty sketchy with the Boston Celtics one. But again, literally every source has pretty much talked about Miami Heat and PJ Tucker, you know, about this time that PJ Tucker could eventually be getting traded very soon. There's also been talks that the Minnesota Timberwolves may try and trade for him as well. Um, again, it's all very, very interesting. I've spoken about this situation before where I do highly believe the Miami Heat will most likely go ahead and trade for PJ Tucker. I just think it makes the most amount of sense for them. He would be the perfect player to get in because I feel like they are really looking for that powerful. Like, honestly, if you were to ask me who the Miami Heat starting power forward is, I couldn't actually tell you. I'm, I'm not exactly too sure. I honestly thought they were starting Bam at power forward and starting Myers Leonard at center, similar to what they did last season. But it doesn't look like that's actually the case at all. And, you know, I feel like what no one's talking about right now is the fact that the Miami Heat lost Jay Crowder to the Phoenix Suns. I think that was one of the worst losses in free agency, one of the most underrated losses as well, because no one's talking about the impact that Jay Crowder had on the Miami Heat. Like, you know, other than Jimmy Butler and Bam in the playoffs, Jay Crowder was playing absolutely insane. He was averaging 10 plus points every single game, like the best defender, one of the best defenders on the court every single game. And his three point percentage was incredibly accurate with the Miami Heat. He was absolutely insane, and to lose Jay Crowder really, really hurt the Miami Heat. Not just that, I'm not exactly too sure what Miami's goal is when it did come to, you know, losing Jay Crowder, because he only signed for $10 million a season to the Phoenix Suns, where he's now starting at power forward for them, and they literally just added Chris Paul and Jay Crowder, and everyone's saying, well, Chris Paul's the reason they're in the playoffs. Well, not just that, but... Jay Crowder being there is a massive help. He is a very underrated player in the NBA. And if the Miami Heat had Jay Crowder right now, I guarantee they would be doing a lot better. So again, it's very, very interesting. I believe they let Jay Crowder and Derek Jones Jr. all walk out the door so they could try and get um, Giannis or Victor Oladipo. I think that makes the most amount of sense for them. Not just that, they also signed Myers Land on a $10 million deal just so they could trade him to match salaries up, which is incredibly smart. And this is where I think the PJ Tucker one might come in. If they were going to, you know, trade for PJ Tucker, you know, like a straight, tr you know, straight swap PJ Tucker to the Miami Heat without, you know, adding any plays in for the, you know, on the Heat, on the um, Rocket side rather, then I think it would be PJ Tucker for Myers Leonard and at least two seconds. Now you might be like, wow, PJ Tucker, surely he's worth a lot more than two second round picks. Well, not really. He's about 35 years of age, going on an expiring deal, and he has looked like he is starting to regress a little bit now. And again, Myers Leonard is still actually a decent player. Uh, he's not bad or anything like that. Some people think he's not great, but again, if you watched him last season, he was actually a decent player for the Miami Heat. And again, a couple second round picks for a player that's 35 years old, expiring on a $9 million deal. I think that's pretty good for the Houston Rockets, in my opinion. But in saying that, there is another trade that I've talked about before on this channel, which could actually, of course, send Victor Oladipo and PJ Tucker to the Miami Heat, which is the one I definitely feel like needs to happen. The Heat have so much more salary cap now after letting Derrick Jones and Jay Crowder both walk out the door. They just literally saved like $20 million right there. Not just that, Myers Leonard, who's on about $10 million, 
they will be trading him, so you've pretty much just saved $30 million right there. And Kali Olenek, who's on, I believe, $17 million or something very, very big, is also an expi uh, expiring deal who they can potentially trade as well. So let's just say they trade Olenek and, uh, you know, um, Myers Leonard. That's $27 million free right there, plus the $9 million. You don't, you don't get Derek Jones Jr. for, which is... Uh, you know, 9 million on 27 is, of course, uh, 36 million, obviously. And then you bring, you trade out Myers Leonard. And that's, I believe, you know, you add the 10 million of him on there as well. And you end up saving yourself up to $46 million, realistically, which is, well, Jay Crowder, rather. Um, again, you get, you don't sign back Jay Crowder, you save another $10 million. Realistically, that's about, again, up to into the 40s. So, you're really saving about $46 million from all four of these players. You bring in Victor Oladipo, who's on a $24 million contract, I believe. And then you probably sign to the max in free agency. And you can bring in PJ Tucker, who would be on about $9 million as well. And you probably still saved yourself about $7 million or something like that. And not just that, Andre Iguodala's contract, who is actually expiring. So again, the Miami Heat could be in a very good contract situation. Now, what would the trade look like if they were to get Victor Oladipo? I believe it would be Victor Oladipo, uh, PJ Tucker, and maybe like a Dante Exum. But I, I feel like it'd just be PJ Tucker and Matthew. Um, no, yeah, yeah, PJ Tucker and Victor Oladipo to start off with. You chuck those two players in. You trade both of them. I think for Myers Leonard and Kali Olynyk. So again, that's I'd say that's about you know on Rockets and that's about thirty-two million dollars or something like that. And on the Heat's end, that's, of course, about $27 million. And then I'd say the Heat would also have to trade um, Kendrick Nunn, who's a young player, and maybe a first-round pick, I think, would have to be it. Yeah. And again, I think that's what they'd have to... Because, you know, Oladipo and um, Tucker are both expiring, so you're probably not going to get exactly too much out of them. But again, I think Kendrick Nunn um, and a first-round pick is very, very good return, considering Nunn's still got a lot of potential to be a very good backup point guard in the league, and the first round pick could have still be a nice, you know, a nice pick here and there. And of course, you know, Kelly Olynyk and Myers Leonard are still very nice role plays they can bring back in free agency for pretty cheap, and I think both of them would probably re-sign. And you know, because the Rockets potentially need to compete in the next couple of seasons, because they don't have their picks, I feel like Olynyk and Leonard will go a lot way. Uh, you know, a long way rather, because if you think about it already, Alinek would already start for them. They lose PJ Tucker, Alinek would come in and pr already provide like 10 points plus, potentially, per game with good three-point efficiency, can sometimes play center if he needs to. It's a very, very good trade in my opinion. The Heat might have to give up another second or two, but again, I feel like that just makes the most amount of sense for all of these teams. But of course, I'd very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this. Do you guys think the Miami Heat should, of course, be trading, um, you know, their players away to try and bring in Victor Oladipo or, P or PJ Tucker, or really both of them? Again, I'd definitely really like to know all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. But of course, you know, don't forget to subscribe to the sports channel for the latest content and news. Don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash long channels. Links for them will all be in the description down below. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.